What's up guys? Today I just want to share with you a really cool news and by the title and the thumbnail you probably already know and that's why you clicked it anyways. And I'm sure he will be a big part of this channel anyways. You know Luke and Hugo is a huge part of the channels. They always in my videos and they also make dedicated videos like puppy swim in the pool and stuff like that. The huge huge part of my channels. Well let me stop teasing you and just show you this new puppy that I just got. It's like two days ago but we drove with him for seven hours and I finally home to, so I can make new videos and stuff. I'm gonna be posting a lot starting today. I will be posting almost every day, hopefully every day on both channels. So subscribe to my second channel because him is gonna be a lot of times on the second channel. Look at the camera, look how cute he is. Boy, you'd wanna lay down? <laughs> He's so hot right now. But there you go, look how cute he is. He has this giant, giant ears. Oh, kisses, kisses. Mm. Ah! <laughs> also, a couple days ago, I posted a picture of him with me and I asked everybody what kind of bird he is. What, like to guess and stuff. A lot of people said husky. But few of you actually said it right. You know who you are. And it is Alaskan Malamute. So he's a big puppy. He's only six weeks old, but he looks like he's big. It's because he will be 80 to 100 pounds. So he's gonna be like double in size of Luke and Hugo, almost double. So that's why he has this big floppy ears already. Look how cute he is. They're so floppy. I can't believe how cute that is. It's kind of hot right now. So we're gonna go back to the air conditioning. This is why I'm filming this video in the shade. Wow, I cannot take how cute he is. This is why we got him. And I think Luke and Hugo will definitely enjoy them, hopefully. Well guys, enough of me just holding him. Let's just look at him running around and see how cute he is. I'm sure that's why you are here. You just wanna see at my new puppy and see how cute he is while he is a puppy, but. Look how cute they, look how cute he is. He just always follows me right now. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> He's like at least 20 pounds. She's gonna lay down here. Oh, you itchy. He's so big and clumsy, he's so fun to watch. Let's see you run, let's see you run, let's see you run. Look at him floppy, floppy legs, so cute. So good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. By the way, this is where he's going to live for now. There is an octagon that Hugo used to own and he loves it. There's a little door. But anyways, party training him right now. He's pretty good actually and easy. He only poops like three or four times a day. He can hold it already because he's a bigger puppy. He's so cute. But anyways, as usual, there's your pee pods so they know where to pee and where to sleep and where to eat and drink water. You have two giant beds over there and all you do is put your butt on a pillow and the rest just on the floor. You can figure it out how it works. It's so cute. So guys, here I am trying to introduce a new puppy and I almost stepped on something crazy. Not just one snake, two snakes over here. Look how big they are. What are they doing? Oh my gosh. I think they tried to mate or something, but that's so cool. Check this out. But definitely putting the puppy away first of all, because I don't want him to get bit. Come on, let's go. Look at them getting so excited. They are too excited. 
Okay, I'm just gonna let them in. It's so funny, he always steps inside of the water bowl and then drinks water. Puppy, what are you doing? Look at him, he's just standing inside of the water bowl and drinking water at the same time. You're so silly. <laughs> I wanted to show you how Luke and Hugo being playful with the puppy, but it's just too hot right now. And I still cannot wait to tell you that I got a new puppy and make this video. So definitely going to show you more videos with him. By the way, he hollows so much, much longer and louder than huskies do because he's Alaskan Malamutes. They hollow really, really awesome, like wolves. So cute. I love the way he hollows. So I cannot wait to show it to you as well. Maybe on my second channel or something. But yeah, guys, there you go. Quick announcement of puppy just being super cute, and that's what I got. Can't wait till he grows up and be a big, big boy. Oh yeah, by the way, gender relief, he's a boy, he's a male. By the way, I got Alaska Malamud because I live in a colder climate. I mean, it's not gets that cold, but it does not stay super hot in the summertime. Right now it's only 85 degrees and it's no humidity up here. And if you stay in the shade, it's even cooler. And at nighttime, it's always gets down to like 60 degrees, 65 degrees all summer long so if it's too hot in the daytime he can enjoy cooler weather at night time right puppy also for some reason hugo did not get along with him that well because he's playful and his teeth are really really sharp right now so whenever he bites on the lips on the other dogs hugo gets upset but luke does not care because he's used to hugo biting his legs everything but now Hugo used to be a baby, he needs to grow up and get used to him as well. They now finally get alone, but when this puppy is licking Hugo's face, sometimes he kind of get afraid of it, that he's gonna get beaten or something. What, you wanna go play? You don't wanna be held and be in a video cute anymore? So yeah, they are much much better after two days, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be best friends really, really soon, especially once he goes up and they're just going to start playing together a lot. So guys, a lot of people don't tell me when you get a first puppy, that's what you have to wake up to about sunrise. So hopefully you don't have any neighbors. I have a big house, so that way I can be completely on the other side of the house. Even if they bark, I still don't hear them. So they still wake me up about 7 a.m. every morning. So if you're thinking to get a puppy, you know, you're gonna be waking up really early, you're gonna be cleaning up a lot of poopy and just cleaning up pee all over because they're going to have accidents all over the house till you train them. So that's one thing you gotta remember when you get puppy. You gotta be patient. They're just there to learn, just like little babies. They have no idea what they're doing. Okay, one more thing I gotta say about huskies and malamutes. This is the Huskies, they are much smaller, but very, very hyper, a lot of energy. The Malamut, a lot bigger, a lot of energy, just as much, but they have a lot more stamina. So a lot of people getting Huskies because they are so cute and beautiful, but because they don't have time, they live in the apartment. What happens is the dogs, if you leave them alone in their apartment or in a crate, they're going to have mental problems. If they don't exercise too much, they're going to have a lot of anxiety. So you have to have a little bit of land. Like backyard this much, and a little bit this much. And my dog's out six to 10 hours a day, honestly. They, I consider them to be inside dogs, but they prefer to be outside most of the time. Unless when it's really, really hot, 
then they stay in the room conditioner. But I guarantee you, what are you barking about? You got scared? Also, there is misconception. A lot of people think that huskies and malamutes are dumb dogs because they don't listen. But that's not true. The problem is they also very independent and brats. They know what you're telling them, but if they feel like they can get away with that and they're not gonna do it, they're just not gonna do it. But they know so many commands. Look right here, knows how to sit, stay, par, and also I tell them cage. They know where the cage is. I tell them home, they go home. I tell them in your room, they're going in the room. So I just pretty much giving them simple commands so that way anybody can use this regular words. So let me just demonstrate. Look, cage, let's go. Cage, cage. Look at him. Tell me this is not smart dogs. Come here. Sit. Sit. Look, you see how they've been brought because they know I don't have nothing for them. So they're like, why would I sit? Sit, Hugo, sit, sit. Good boy, pa. You see, they're very, very smart dogs. So I'll just have to train him the same way. But now the other uh, command, all I have to tell them is, let's go home or Damoy in Russian. Look, Hugo, Damoy, let's go, Damoy, Damoy. You see, they're going home. So commands like that is very simple, but very useful in their lively situations. So they are farm dogs and I just raise them like what's important for me. But you know what, you probably could train them and teach them anything, anything you want them. If I could spend more time with them training, I could probably teach them so many other things. But again, if you do not spend any time with them, they are going to be like so much anxiety and so much mental problems and they will go crazy a little bit. So if you have a lot of time of your hand, maybe six hours a day in the morning and afternoon, then yes, get that dog. But if you don't, I would recommend to get some other breeds that don't require to have so much energy burn out every single day so a little warning i know i have three huskies but i love them and i stay home a lot and i also have a bird which is bird definitely takes up a lot of time as well well guys that's pretty much it thank you for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe and i'll see you next time